Fellas, let's talk about Phantom Forces. I play this game um, occasionally. What do we talk about? There's just so much to talk about with this game. Here's something. I have a uh, 1E plus 158 credits. That's uh, 1 followed by 158 zeros. I wouldn't consider that to be a lot. I earn everything I own in this game. Now, a lot of people will like play this game with me and they'll be like, Ruben, how are you so good? And uh, I figured I'd go ahead and actually make a video. Not really giving too much of a tutorial, but I'll just, I'll play the game how I normally play it and uh, I'll explain what I'm doing. Okay, so let's start with the loadout. Here I have the KSG. It's the best shotgun. It's better than any of the other ones because it has the fastest fire rate and the highest ammo capacity. See, that guy just tried to knife me. Usually when people come at me with knives, I uh, find them and kill them in real life. We don't have a lot of time though, so I, I'm just gonna... We'll, we'll save that for another video. Uh, if, if you jump and then dive, you can get on places that you're probably not supposed to be able to get up to. Okay, so he's clueless. And I fucked his mom. Okay, this guy is using a suppressor on a shotgun, which probably didn't work too well considering I heard him shooting. Okay, never get close to me in this game, right? If Here's a tip. If you see me, stay far away. Here we got another knifer. I don't think he knew I had birdshot. Uh, and I, you know, that guy was hacking, I mean, clearly, I know he's hacking because I, I died, and I never die. This guy thinks he's sneaky. You know, a while ago I made a montage of this game. And I titled it Ben Simon Phantom Forces Gameplay. Which is weird, because I don't even know who Ben Simon is. Uh, if I were to title it differently today, I'd, I'd title it uh, Random Guy Does Really Shitty at Video Game. Because, I mean, it wasn't that great. Okay, uh, sometimes you can melee people through walls. I'm sure that guy's salty. I would be salty if I were him. I'm always looking at my radar. Always, always. So I see a large grouping of enemies over there. I don't care about them. I just want that guy. I always cook my frags. Always. I think it's it's very rare that I'll ever just tap G. Because I use grenades in ways that I can control them. If you just if you don't cook a grenade, you're not controlling it. Like I said, I, I never die in this game, unless of course someone's hacking. I've been hacked about 28,000 times to this day. Alright, so again, we're going to be using the KSG. Uh, we're going to use slugs because it, it's a one-shot at close range, and a two-shot at long range. And uh, most people would use slugs long range. I, I hear in CPFL it's argued that it's a sniper, but really it's just just the regular old It's just the regular old KSG. It's just uh it's long range now. There's no point in not using slugs because I mean, how hard is it to point your gun at the enemy and pull the trigger? People say it makes it harder close range. No, it doesn't. It's a one-shot kill. Really the only reason I, I wouldn't use them is uh they don't have a lot of suppression and I like to suppress my enemies. Okay, so one more hit, we'll do it. Two shot kill. Oh. All right. 
So if you want to win, grab some slugs. Get up close. Don't be a baby. And you'll win every time. Sometimes when I turn corners, I'll spot first, just so my gun points in front of me. Alright, I'm mad, because that guy shot at me. So, uh... I'm not going to do anything except die. I use the ASP baton because it's a one-hit kill to the face. I should mention that because I'm using the KSG, I always hit fire. If you're within like, what, 50 studs with the KSG and you're not hip firing, then you're losing. Where are your parents, young man? Ugh, I know where his bomb is. On my dick. Uh... Okay. The only time I, I really melee is either when I want to seriously disrespect someone or if they're so close that my gun just gets stuffed in their face and shoots behind them. Something that's going on right now that will probably get patched is uh, if you knife as soon as you die, your character might freak out and then you start experiencing a few uh, glitches. My character really wants to move the opposite of where I'm facing. See that? So that's not me. That's the game moving my character backwards. And if you go with it, sometimes you get some decent acceleration. Okay, that's enough of that. So the way to fix it is to reset using Roblox's in-game menu. Okay, so I did pretty good that round. Sometimes I shoot too fast for the game to really process and the animation has a delay. If you're fast, you can shoot through that and just like skip a cycle. but if you're slow, then you're out of luck. I really, really am glad that they adjusted sliding in this game, so you can slide one direction and look another. Owie. So I, I'm almost certain I'm going to die. Yes! I don't like this guy. You can jump dive into this window on mall construction, it's a shortcut. Use pillars to your advantage, not your disadvantage. We're good. I really don't want them to take this point. Oh no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't do it. Ugh. I 
hate it when people lay down. If someone is using birdshot, your best chances are going to be to lay down far away. And here we have a BFG ballistics tracker buyer. And I am not going to allow that. Where did that frag go? What is going on? Don't do it. Don't do it. No. <laughs> no. Don't do it. <laughs> what was that? He was still shooting after the match ended. little stick grenade away. Get your girly melee weapons out of my face. I didn't die that round. I didn't die. Ash Cloud on the other team. I don't want to be caught in his Ash Cloud. Oh, he's gonna know where I am. I, just, I know this guy's gonna target me. high rank and he has the same gun as me. This is like what the Dragonov used to be. Uh, I think that was through the wall. Listen here, you fucking idiot. Whoosh, he's still targeting me. I don't want it, man. My fun's gonna end really soon. Okay, it ended. You can jump dive onto these buildings if you kind of a dive, right? That was scary. I can't get up there. Okay, I also didn't die that round. We're about out of time, so I think I'll just show some highlights and give a few more tips that I may have missed while recording. With any gun, hit fire up close. If an enemy's running around you, it's going to be a hell of a lot easier to point your gun at them when you're not aiming. Not only can you move your camera faster, but you have a wider field of view and your character moves more quickly than when aiming. Listen for footsteps. If you play with headphones, which you should, listen for people walking around you. If you hear someone walking to your right and you're alone on your radar, there's probably an enemy around the corner. Use cover and be on the move. It's so much harder to hit a moving target than a stationary one. You don't just have to move quickly though, you have to move intelligently. If you run towards an enemy, you're an easy target. If you move perpendicular to their aim though, they're going to have a hard time getting enough rounds in you to kill you. And lastly, the BFG and the Hecate are bad guns. If you want to use a 50 cal, use the SFG. You move faster, you aim faster, and it's a secondary where it belongs. There's no excuse for people to use the BFG. As always, thank you for watching, and shut up loser. Also, Paradox Poke is trash. <laughs>